Alright everybody, so this is the uh, Lenovo T4 2D uh, in which I did uh, a drive clone, solid state drive. I went from a 320 gigabytes spin drive to a 120 gigabytes solid state drive. So uh, I did this, uh, well, I did the cloning and now it's the drive that I'm using. But this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna try now. I'm going to reinstall Windows, fresh install on this M SATA. This is a 32 gigabytes. It should be enough to uh, um, to house the uh, operating system, um, which is uh, well right now is taking about. Let's see. about uh, 25 gigabytes something like that and this is uh, this is 32 I'm gonna focus right there uh, some of these Lenovo's uh, have room for this type of drive because uh, it would be used like a combination of this and the uh, and the spin drive for uh, faster uh, faster access. Uh, honestly, I can't recall how that was supposed to work. <clears throat> I I bought this piece to try to set it up on my uh, Lenovo T four twenty, but I never got to it. So uh, okay, I'm gonna shut down this and. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install this and then I'm going to remove the uh, hard drive. So flip it over. We're going to gain access to uh, the, housing, the housing for the M SATA drive. And you can you can you can also see the uh, the uh, RAM slot right there. There is a screw there, so we're gonna loosen that screw, which we are going to use to secure uh, the uh, SATA drive. Okay, I'm doing this first, and then I'm going to remove the. Uh, We'll try to put this to the side somehow. Let's see if we can manage. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but let's hope that this works. Okay, so this is gonna go like this. So we have to drop it right there. A little slot make sure that that pin that pin goes into that hole and then and then we are going to set that screw right there let me see if I can get it oh, oh. Okay, I got it, I think. Next. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this cover back. And of course, I, I'm gonna try first to see if we have access to, uh, to the drive, if the computer text the drive and I already have Windows 10 here I downloaded Windows 10 to do a, a reinstall okay I'm going to remove the uh, 
hard drive. This is the drive that I cloned, uh, that, I, that I cloned before. Okay, so hard drive is out. The MSATA drive is in. Let's see what happens. Power on. Okay, we have the uh, Samsung Solid State. Oh, it's not there. Samsung Solid State Drive at the MSATA 32 uh, gigabytes. Uh, okay, what I'm gonna do now? This. So. Uh, And what we are going to do We are going to escape The thing is working So it should now detect There it is Now it's working from the uh, USB So it's getting into the uh, window setup Take a little long, but I'm gonna try to keep it to keep it uh, real time. So if for any reason I pause and fast forward, then I'll just say that I'm gonna pause and then uh, I'll fast forward to the point, like for example when. Uh, Windows starts installing and then when Windows uh, finish installing and doing the uh, initial setup. Okay, so I'm gonna pause until something else comes on the screen okay so it looked like it was taking uh, forever so I did shut down the uh, computer and reboot it and now I'm going to choose to boot from the uh, USB drive and let's see what happens Again, I'm gonna pause. I got 420 my clock here, and I'm pausing now. Uh, well, it seems to be working. Okay. Okay. So here it is. So uh, Windows should set up uh, English United States, English United States for the uh, language to install time and currency format uh, whatever okay and the keyboard us so you're gonna hit next and then we're gonna choose install 
now. Again, this is a uh, okay here. We can say I don't have a product key. I actually do have one. It's at the bottom of the computer because this was a refurbished uh, laptop. But because we already we previously installed uh, Windows 10 on this computer, uh, I don't have a product key, so it should detect the uh, uh, digital key. And then we are going to choose uh, the uh, the uh, Windows version that we had, which was uh, Windows 10 Pro. And then hit next. <clears throat> you remember, okay, we have to accept the license agreement. Otherwise, nothing happens. And we are going to do a uh, uh, well. We don't want to do the upgrade. We are we are want to just install Windows only. So let's do that and. Drive zero partition one total size twenty nine point eight gigabytes free space zero megabytes type primary so Windows can be installed on drive zero oh why okay Windows cannot be installed on to this hard disk space Windows must be installed on to a partition formatted as NTFS so okay so let's format it uh, uh -uh. Okay, delete. This partition might contain important files or applications from your uh, computer manufacturer. If you delete this partition, any data stored on it will be lost. Okay, we're going to do that. And now let's see what happens. Next. Okay, so there it is. <coughs> So the uh, drive had actually to be uh, deleted and now Windows is, uh, is uh, installing. Uh, okay, there are a few steps that uh, Windows needs uh, to go through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause this video and then get back uh, to it. Uh, after the uh, finishing up step you can see here uh, collecting information installing windows and uh, there is that green bar right there it's going and the uh, percentage uh, indicator here is going up so Everything should be good from here. Um, Lenovo, you can, uh, of course, you can download all the uh, all the latest drivers for your uh, for your machine for uh, from uh, the Lenovo website.
Uh, so far looking good, we are at, uh, well, it didn't install the feature, now it just started installing uh, updates. Okay. Let's let the machine uh, do it by itself. So when Windows uh, is done installing, we're going to reset this uh, drive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a uh, storage drive. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense to, you know, to have this drive and to have the ends out of the drive uh, together uh, because uh, they are both solid state, so the um, speed, the boot up speed, the booting should be uh, really quick, the shutdown should be really quick, the access to uh, everything should be really quick, so, but, we're gonna have, we're gonna have probably just the, uh, just the uh, operating system on the end SATA drive. Okay, let's if mute the PC. Reader, press the Windows, control, and enter keys at the there. Okay, so we're in the United States. Let's say yes. The right keyboard, keyboard layout, US, yes. Uh, we are going to skip adding a second keyboard. Okay, and now we need access to the uh, internet, so I'm going to use this, uh, <clears throat> this router. Okay, and going on okay we're going to set this for personal use hit next uh, okay I'm going to skip uh, signing into Microsoft so we're gonna do a I'm gonna do an offline account and you're you're still able to create uh, sign in with Microsoft instead we're gonna say no and then here you can you can just put whatever you want to put in the uh, name right here. Uh, let's go with me. Next. Password 
is uh, optional if you leave it if you leave it alone it's not going to require a password when you uh, access windows so i just left it blank <clears throat> you can set it up later on make your time your personal your personal assistant uh, you can say yes you can say no uh privacy settings uh all these options here okay i'm going to accept with whatever was on right there and uh, and we're almost there so i'm gonna pause again and wait for uh, Windows to finish uh, setting up and it looks like we are in business uh, I'm gonna close browser and let's do a shutdown and Look at that. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the uh, USB drive. We might have to uh, set the uh, new drive for the machine to boot from. So, okay, let's turn it on. And look at that. Wow, there is the computer me. There it is. You can see that's really, really, really fast. Compared to the spin drive where it took like over 20 sec 25 seconds, something like that. Okay, your PC needs to be restarted to finish setting up this device in the next point of device. Okay, we can do that, no problem. We did already, but let's do a normal restart. okay it might be uh, the machine might still be looking for the usb drive to boot from so let's check that out make sure that it's all set properly so i'm going to restart again restart and then i'm gonna hit f12 to access the uh, boot menu F12 right there okay so entering the the uh, boot menu and as you can see okay let's go to the let's get the tab key we're going to the application main menu and then setup and then on those tabs We're going to boot and then we're going to choose our 32 gigabytes uh, M SATA drive. So we go down to the M SATA drive right there and then to bring it up to uh, be the first drive to boot from we are going to hit uh, it's right here. We are going to hit the plus key to bring it up. So 
You want to hit plus. Uh oh. What happened here? You want to shift. Yeah. Shift plus. And there it is. Now it stays at number one. So we are going to uh, save, save and exit. We are going to hit F10. And we're going to say yes. Just hit enter. And it should uh, go back to a uh, boot from the end. Ah, uh, boot to Windows. So the next time that the machine boots up, you're gonna go, you're gonna go, you're gonna see it uh, going like straight to it. Okay, there it is. Windows 10 is installed on this Lenovo T430 uh, fresh install from, uh, and uh, <clears throat> we have a digital license let's go to uh, here system and about okay here activation windows is activated with a digital license so we are good let's close this and shut down uh, so that's about it Thank you very much for uh, watching this video and I hope that this is uh, helpful. Remember the same, you can, you can, uh, you can do uh, the same to a regular solid state uh, drive and uh, put easy. Look at that. All right. Thank you.